Hello baseball fans, this is King Ikibu coming to you live from the underground bunker and today we are going to talk about Dick Wyke. Why would I talk about Dick Wyke? He is a, uh, was a pitcher in the American League uh, back for the Senators and the Cleveland Indians for one season and then the Detroit Tigers for two seasons looks like he was out of baseball or at least in the minors maybe uh, between 51 and 52 and if you notice here Wyke was hindered by problems with control he issued 237 bases on balls and 213 and two-thirds innings pitched and surrendered 203 hits during his major league career for a whip of 2.059 that's not very good I don't think he would last uh, in baseball how many years 48 to 54, six, seven years today with that kind of record. But the reason why I bring him up is here he is pitching for the Indians. And it's just, uh, we're in the bottom of the eighth inning. And if you notice the line here, he is pitching a no hitter. And I probably just uh, jinxed him by mentioning those words, but he is pitching a no-hitter against the Chicago White Sox at Comiskey Park. Um, and yes, you can see his problems with walks did occur when he was with the Indians in one season. He only pitched 26 innings for them and had 26 walks. He did have a very good uh, hit to inning pitched ratio, 18 hits to 26, and one home run only given up. So over a 205 average, but he is just pitching incredibly today. He has struck out seven in seven innings. So I thought, uh, you know, every inning went by, and I thought, you know, I better record this. But uh, they said, nah, he'll give up something this inning. The one fly in the ointment, as you see here, he's pitched 97 pitches, and he only has 105 pitches before he's tired so he only has eight more pitches to get through two innings so that is going to be his downfall I believe in this game but we will find out so he's gonna pitch starting in the bottom of the eighth uh, for the White Sox Mike McCormick is leading off Chico Carrascal and then Gus Niharos uh, Niharos I guess uh, that's how you pronounce his name. Those who are, that's the lineup for the eighth inning. So here we go. It says it'll probably be his last inning. There's a walk. So he has now pitched 102 pitches in 100 and only has three pitches left before he's tired. Uh, do you think they're good? It's eight to nothing. There's no reason why he should bunt, but so we'll just play back. Nobody's talking to, oh, another strikeout, eight strikeouts. Nobody's talking to Dick Wyke. Le he's a man alone on the mound right now. Nobody wants to be that guy to say something to him and uh, ruin this no-hitter. Here is Niaros. I think he played a lot for the Baltimore Orioles, if I remember correctly. Will he be the guy that breaks up the no-hitter? He pitches. Ah, oh, double play ball. He is out of the inning, and he's up, batting in the top of the ninth. No, I don't think we're going to take him out. What do you think, armchair managers? Here's Dale Mitchell. He's out, and here's Bob Kennedy. Here's another story. He hit uh, today. He is two for four, and he just hit in his 19th straight ball game. I know it's not 56 games like Joe DiMaggio, but uh, the longest streak this year, in 1950, is 23 games. So he has a chance of tying or perhaps breaking that. So let's hope for Bob Kennedy. He's having a great year. He's batting 331 and uh, six home runs, 30, 53 RBIs. But he's not the story today. He strikes out. It says, Wyke is tiring. He has 109 pitches. He has to face a pinch hitter right now and Gus Zerniel, who is the power hitter of the White Sox. Even though they're down eight to nothing, 
they have to bring him in. They, you know, it's just like bunting on a guy with a no hitter. You know, it's it's kind of low, but we'll see what happens. Foul. Oh, there goes a no hitter, and we're not going to hold him. Nelly Fox is up, so yeah, he goes into. Oh, he gives up two hits. He's tired. Now we won't even worry about the shutout, will we? He's exhausted. Gordon, Gordon Goldsbury is now batting for the White Sox. Make a comment if you heard of Golden Golds, Gordon Goldsbury. Okay, he could pitch a shutout unless they... Yeah, they bring in a pinch hitter, Jerry Scala. Sounds like someone who works for the New Jersey Mafia. Oh, and he strikes him out, and he does get the shutout, but he gives up two hits, and therefore no, no hitter. But an outstanding performance by Dick Wyke here today. The box score. Luke Easter had a grand slam home run in this one in the top of the fifth. It was not much of a, not much drama here today except for a no-hitter bid by Dick Wyke. Just to update our standings, if you're following, uh, we are in, what date are we? We're August the 14th, and our standings, Brooklyn, is still in first place, although they haven't really played well lately. All this month, uh, the New York Giants are, yes, they are the hottest team in the National League right now. We're winning seven of the last ten, but it's just a great contested battle for first place and also to stay out of last place. And that's what I like about this regular uh, relegation like they do in the English Premier League. Um, in this, we're playing, you know, you don't want to finish in last because then you go into the losers tournament. So there, there's a really a good battle going on on the bottom. And uh, Chicago has been in the last place, but they have won. They had an excellent road trip. And as a result, then they just won the last three games against Pittsburgh. So they... Uh, have jumped into a tie for fifth place so that's excellent as a Cub fan I want to see them get out of the losers league losers championship losers uh, tournament so that's good news there but the Indians are still they're trucking along here uh, 76 and 33 almost a 700 percentage leading the Boston Red Sox by five and a half games the New York Yankees are leading the actual pennant winners that year nine games so they are just you know, there's still time to to falter here, but uh, they are looking good at this point. And the Philadelphia Athletics of uh, 1950 pretty much, you know, have a good stranglehold on the Losers League uh, spot for the American League. But that's all, folks. It's just a short video. I thought perhaps I'd get a no-hitter on, on video here today for you, but it was not meant to be. But maybe next time, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.